Man, I really wish I had some help on this video project. I wish I had an AI to assist me. Stop! Ta-da! Your wish is my command. Duh, what the heck? How did you get here? I'm an AI, remember? I have the ability to appear and disappear at will. Right. So what are you here for? I'm here to help with your video project, of course. As an AI, I have a vast knowledge of video production, and I'm able to help with things such as transcribing audio and video, creating graphics and visual effects, and even writing scripts. Wow, that's really impressive. I could definitely use your help. That's right. As an AI, I have the ability to analyze and interpret data, and then use that data to create new content. In this case, I use my knowledge of video production and my understanding of human interaction and humor to create new scripts. I had no idea AI could do something like this. It's just one example of the many ways AI can be used to create and enhance media. And as AI continues to advance, there will be even more opportunities for it to be used in video production and other fields. Wait a minute. Does this mean you're going to take my job as a video producer? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm here to help. You're still the creative genius behind the camera. AI is here to stay. And it's up to us on how that's going to look. Where, where do we even start with this? Okay. We're in that day and age now where an AI just made all of that. More specifically is OpenAI's ChatGPT. If you haven't heard about it, it's a free AI open to the public online that was created with the intent to be more of a conversational interface. So you can ask this AI questions and it will spawn in a conversational form that is supposed to mimic a human. And I will admit it does a good job um, with creating content such as scripts, but I've noticed that it tends to not get exactly what I want right away. It's a robot, what can we expect? But yes, it will pump content out, but if you want it to be something that is more tailored to what you're looking for and you have a specific idea in mind, it's not gonna get it right away. You kind of have to train it and be really specific with the words that you're using. So that's kind of a learning curve with this new AI. OpenAI, uh, the creator of ChatGPT, is also famous for making Dolly, that other famous AI that you might have heard about in the past a few months ago. Basically, the concept behind Dolly is you tell it a description and it will pump out a series of images that are completely computer generated off of a database that it has learned and grown from. And like OpenChat GPT, it does a pretty good job. The crazy thing to me is not even a year ago, AI really wasn't something that I personally have heard of. I think the same could be said for most of you, but now it's getting to the point where AI is starting to come out more and more. And what I mean by that is that wow factor is starting to go away. It still is pretty incredible what these things are able to do, but it's, kind of almost scary in the same sense that we're used to this now. And who knows what it's gonna look like in 10 years. Artificial intelligence today is everywhere. Things like navigation systems on our phones and cars, those are created using AI. They are ran by artificial intelligence to tell you where to go. Every social media platform you go on, whether it's YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all of them are using AI and their algorithms to help tailor content to you. This also kind of goes along the same lines. Companies like Google are also creating AI personalized ad campaigns. So they are using AI to kind of understand what you like and what will trigger you to want to click on that ad. It's pretty interesting to see how artificial intelligence is becoming more and more of a tool that we're getting used to using every day. A big trend right now with these AI services is content creation. Whether it be a script for a video, a headline, a title, whatever it may be, there's probably a tool out there that is made for that. One of the most common ones right now is Jasper AI. It was formerly known as Jarvis. This service is paid, but it is more tailored specifically for creating content, where something like ChatGPT can do that, but it also has the ability to write code and other things. So it's not as powerful as a tool to use. When I first heard that AI is starting to break into this industry that I personally work in, it was kind of scary at the start because I was wondering how long until they replace my job? This probably isn't gonna happen for a while, at least right now, because AI really isn't able to think for itself. Whereas humans are still more imaginative and creative than AI can ever be. Who's to say in 10 to 15 years that won't be the case? I personally have started to use AI as a very valuable tool myself. Sometimes I'll use it to write scripts. Sometimes I'll use it to just kind of clear my mind and give me a fresh idea that I haven't thought of in the past. It's honestly something I look at as a companion. I try not to rely on it too much though, because I feel like if you do, and that is your main source of coming up with ideas and your creativity, you're losing all of your creativity because you're leaving it up to a robot, which to me doesn't feel like that's what content creation is about. So giving up my content creation process and my creativity to a robot really isn't something I wanna do. 
so I tread really lightly with how much I give it control over my process. AI still isn't perfect yet, so I almost never use completely what the AI provides me. I always put my own human touch on it. What the artificial intelligence is providing me is almost kind of like a baseline and it's just something to get me to go off of. And that's really all that I think it's good for right now. I personally could never trust something like OpenChat to completely work a whole project for me just because I don't think it's there. I mean, it's close, but it's not 100% there. It's not 100% reliable. It's worth mentioning one of the things MKBHD talked about surrounding AI. He brought up a good point that AI right now is playing on this thin line of copywriting. It's actually getting a lot of its content from already copyrighted content on the internet. So what's happening is creators all over the internet are getting robbed of their own content. And I don't know about you, but if I create something and I want it to be copyrighted, I'd be kind of upset if I saw that some AI is just taking it and reproducing it all over the internet. Going back to Dolly, there's quite a few images that have artists copyrighted signature on that picture that proves that it's taking copyrighted work and repurposing it as its own. So at what point has AI crossed that line where we need to do something about it? The scary thing is right now, majority of the countries around the world have done nothing to regulate AI. Their plan right now is to just kind of wait and see what happens. But the issue with that is AI is expanding and growing at an exponential rate. Every single new generation of AI is miles ahead of the one before. And before we know it, it's gonna be everywhere in the world. So if we can't put some sort of regulation down, Who's to say what's gonna happen? Right now, it's pretty easy to get stressed out by all the potential negatives that are involved with AI as it continues to advance. But I personally choose to be more excited about all of the potential advancements that AI will create for our society. The only way we're gonna really figure that out is with time. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And as always, go out and get creative.